Welcome to Finding Duplicates with AL. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, a question that I have received a few times now in the comments below a video on something completely different, which, you know, that's a privilege that is uh, reserved for, for subscribers of the channel. If you're a subscriber, you can, you know, you can throw out questions and, and usually you'll get an answer. I don't like this in form of a video or an answer in the in in, in the comments. So do become a subscriber. Um, anyway, the question um, we're talking about today is how to find a duplicate. Um, and, um, and what is a duplicate and what am I talking about? So in this case, let's go to, to customers. Uh, and I'll create a new, uh, new customer here we go and uh, let's um, alpine ski house so i have created a customer and now i have two customers called alpine ski house and so this might be the same one uh, so we would like to identify that when a user is entering this one that hey be aware that you might have already have this customer in the system, uh, something like that. So, how do we how do we go about to do that? Um, and for that, I have created a new extension here. Um, let's. So we can go about this in different ways. Uh, it's more about uh, how we're going to. It's not about what, how actually finding the, the duplicate. It's more about that in some cases it might be better to handle it on um, on a, on the page or in the table. I think I'll, I'll just go uh, uh, go with the table here. So we'll create a customer. Uh, we'll create a table extension. Wow. Let's see if I can table extension and I might just have crashed. Yeah, there we go. This is, oh, uh, it's one of those videos where I crash the, um, so let's save this. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reload the window and see if I can avoid crashing the AL compiler. That's just something I do. Um, so, so what we can do here is that we can, um, as soon as you have a table extension, uh, you can extend the table, add fields, uh, add keys and stuff like that. But you can also change the behavior of certain fields. So you do that in the, in the field section. Uh, and now, normally here, if you're just, then you will add the fields, but what you can also do is that you can say you want to modify. And let's, in this case, modify just the name field. But we're really not modifying. What we're doing is that we're going to add a trigger and say either before or after validate. Um, in this case, I think I'm going to we'll go with before validate. Uh, so whatever happens, I don't think anything is ha actually happening when you put in the name. There might be some CRM stuff going on, but um, there's no reason to any processing happening uh, if, if we don't like this. Um, and whenever we do something, and that's, that's going back to should we do this on the page or on the table? Um, so since I'm doing this on the table, um, the first thing I actually want to do is saying that, hey, I'm only going to check whatever I'm doing and, and, and introducing some sort of UI telling that we have a duplicate. That's only going to happen if we're in a GUI allow situation. Um, so in general, if you put business logic that will have user interaction on the table, make sure you encapsulate it in something like Google Allowed. Uh, if there is a question, yes, no, but how should that be 
what should the reply be to that if, if the code gets triggered in a non-UI situation, like an API call or uh, a background session or stuff like that? Um, so th always think about that. Um, then the next question is, so so we need to figure out if, if there is a duplicate. Um, and the easiest way to do this is just we create an, an, an another another variable, not customer dip, but customer dup. Um, and then we could simply go and say customer dup set range. Um, maybe we want to be case uh, insensitive. So set, set filter name with the rec.name that we just had. Uh, we could go um, uh, and, and do something like, no, not the asterisk. I think we just want to make sure that it's insensitive like this. Um, and then we could say that, and, and here's the, here, now here's our first problem. Um, that potentially this code could be called before record is inserted and could be called after record is inserted. Uh, so we, we don't always know, depending on how the page that we're using uh, is behaving. Um, do we have delay on insert or how, how to feel structured? We, you might have your if you're looking for duplicate, you might end up in a situation where the record is not yet inserted, or you might be that it is inserted. And then the same table can potentially, both cases can happen on the same table. So what, in, instead of, because now we would say, but it's already inserted because we got it, we got a number. So after we created this, we already got a number. So we, we think it's inserted before we're typing this. So in this case, we could go, um, if customer dub count is larger than one, because our own record plus the one that's already there, so that would be two, then then we would have a duplicate. But, but I prefer to go and say, customer dub set filter, um, on the customer number, and then we'll do difference from the number of the customer you're on now. So if there is another one with the same name, but with a different customer on, but then we got a duplicate. And, and with that, we can avoid count because count is also kind of expensive. So we can go that if not customer dub is empty. So now we know we have a duplicate because it's not empty. Then I would go, and this is this is this is uh, I don't know if it matters. We could also do find first, perhaps. Uh, in some case, depending on on your your filter. Uh, um, in this case, there's usually, hopefully there should never be more than one because that would mean that you already had duplicates. But in some cases, I would I would actually do is empty because n the normal reply would be that there's not anything. So I will not want the overhead of getting the records. Uh, and then after that, I will do if customer dub find first or set or whatever, uh, if we on the exception where we need to get data. Uh, but in this case, I don't think there's actually a significant overhead of just getting it if it's there. So in that case, it will not be not, but it will just be find first. Um, then we could go message uh, a customer with the name number equals something 
already exists. Uh, consider deleting this one. Uh, and then we need to add customer dub name, customer dub number. How about that? Let's see if that works. I hit a 5 to deploy. And the first time you deploy a new app, it takes just a few seconds more than uh, the next time you deploy it because the server needs to say, oh, that's a new app and we need to do stuff. So now it is deployed. Let's fire up. Let's log in at least. Um, how about we delete this one? And then we try to do the same thing again. Let's see what happens. Alpine Ski House. A customer with the name Alpine Ski House number 40,000 already exists. Consider deleting. Well, that's probably a bad text. Consider deleting this one, meaning aka the new one. Um, but how about if we do, then we change the name to, to Peter's, uh, ski, uh, something, ski shack, I don't know, Peter's ski, uh, village works, Alpine, Alpile, ski house, lowercase, we still get the uh, the thing. Um, we might need to consider how, what I was starting to do saying that, how about if it's the filter? And and right now I'm, I'm, I'm building this filter up because there's something when, when you're building filters uh, with the percentage, that either with the add sign or the asterisk goes haywire sometimes. Um, I haven't found the root cause of that. I just noticed that sometimes filters would not work. Um, let's delete this guy. Oh, we can just actually edit this one. Uh, so the problem now is of course that now I type Alpine uh, that's not enough. What did I do? Um, ski. No? Did I break it? Uh, or is this the other way around? Uh, if you're yelling at me in the comments now, I will read them. If you're a subscriber. Uh, let, let's check. Otherwise, I'll just abandon this because this is a house. Now it works. Ski. Yeah, it seems that, so. So it seems that we we need to have the the add sign first. Older version of Nav was not that picky about that. You could have the asterisk and then the add sign. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Of course, we could now do a fancy UI and say, hey, which would you want to delete? Or, or perhaps we uh, we just gonna go ahead and delete this one. But the the only thing I really wanted to to talk about the and, and to answer the the the, uh, the questions in the comments was that this is how I usually identify a uh, a, a duplicate. So uh, we create another record of the same type. We set the filters and we set the excluding the primary key of the one we have now to avoid getting to count the one that we're looking at as potentially a duplicate of itself. Um, and of course, depending on data sizes and stuff like that, then 
uh, we might want to do set current key name if we have a key that will, will help us uh, do this quicker um, to uh, to avoid too much strain on the database and, and de depending on if you have millions of customers and stuff like that. Um, and, and and we could also combine this uh, and say that we only want to we we might want to check this on multiple fields. So so maybe we also wanted to check this on the address uh, and perhaps the name and your address uh, both. So if they're filled out, then we we will only do the check when we got both fields uh, filled out, no matter what order and so on. But the the essential check stays the same that might just be that we are you know, we're also doing a set filter on the address here let's we can do the same thing oops no we can't because i apparently cannot type um and anyway so there's tons tons of way you can do it but but the core core method is the same so that's how I uh, usually locate a duplicate if I need to. There's one more trick in this uh, that you can take this video and maybe it's not the one that's suggested here, but it sh perhaps it should be the, the one about Foshi uh, filtering, Foshi search, uh, because maybe you, you need to figure out that locate something that's almost the same uh, and and uh, and with that the whole uh, the whole idea of Foshi search becomes interesting and uh, you can find that uh, if Google is smart then they'll put that one up here otherwise check this one out anyway it's a good one I'll see you there take care bye